What's up everybody? It's Justin at SK Greenhouse. You know, broccoli can kind of be a tricky crop to grow. It takes a lot of fertilizing and watering, nurturing, perfect timing. And you know, when you finally get to the part where you have a nice crown, you kind of don't want to mess it up. So today I'm giving you three mistakes to avoid when harvesting your broccoli. Mistake number one to avoid is harvesting too late. You know, sometimes in an effort to get the biggest crown possible, we tend to let our broccoli heads grow and grow and grow and grow. But the problem is this is made up of thousands of tiny flower buds. And if you wait too late, this will actually bolt and start flowering and it'll ruin the taste of your broccoli. Now, as you can see, this broccoli head right here is ready to harvest. It's very tight and firm and the head's still pretty dark green. Flower buds, when they start to open on broccoli are yellow. And this head over here, I think I've waited a little late. I think it's still fine, but you can see a vast difference. Check out the, the yellow color on the top of the crown. This lets you know that the buds are about to open up and the crown is very loose where the others are firm. So this one is a little past due. Now it's still fine. It hasn't bolted or flowered just yet. So the food and storage quality will still be there. Mistake number two is not making an angled cut when you're harvesting the head. This is pretty important because if you make a flat cut, the top of the stem is going to be exposed and collect water and this will rot the whole stem. If you make a cut like maybe at a 45 degree angle, the water's gonna run off and no rotting will occur. This is pretty important because you want your broccoli to continue growing after you harvest the central head because next you're gonna have these offshoots and you can continue to harvest your broccoli. See how this is an offshoot right here off the main stem? I'm gonna have another head of broccoli here, although it won't be as large, and then I have the main head here. So I want this broccoli plant to continue to grow to produce these. I'm going to go ahead and make my cut here above the side shoots. So I'm going to go pretty high here. And then I'm going to make my cut at about a 45 degree angle. Oh yeah, that was a nice cut. Look at this thing. Now, don't do what I just did after I just told you not to cut the secondary shoots. This little guy was hiding behind and he actually got chopped off. Oh well. Mm, that's so good. You can see the top of the stalk there is at a nice angle. Now when water droplets fall, it's going to hit and run off. The last mistake to avoid is not eating your broccoli leaves. You do all this work to grow your broccoli plant and I see so many people just harvesting the main head and then pulling up the broccoli and throwing it away. Well, the head is only about 10 or 15% of the total plant and the leaves make up about 50% of the total plant. The leaves of your broccoli plant are quite good and just like any other member of the brassica family, they can be used. Throw the smaller ones in a salad, use the bigger ones as a wrap. Or if you're like me and you love cooking collard greens, throw some of these with a few cabbage leaves and have a trio of delectable greens. Broccoli leaves are a superfood, just like kale or Swiss chard and actually contain vitamins A, C, and K. And just like a Swiss chard leaf, it's gonna be full of niacin, thiamine, iron, potassium, and fiber. Well, there you go, folks. There are your three mistakes to avoid when harvesting broccoli. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet and you love these garden tutorials, make sure to do so. You can join our community just by hitting that subscribe button and notification bell. And until next time, become a plant person.